Hey everybody, uh, my name is Rabbi Mark Asher Goodman and this is Minecraft Beth Shalom Pittsburgh. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever done a Minecraft video because I'm a 43-year-old father of two and a rabbi. But because of the pandemic, I have been sitting at home and doing services virtually for a long time. So I, you know what I thought? I thought the synagogue that I attend in Pittsburgh, it doesn't exist in Minecraft. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna make it. I just thought that'd be fun. Now, I'm a survival player, which means um, everything in Minecraft survival, I have to make the materials and then you know craft them and then build them and so on. Um, so there's lots of things in the background. You can see there's some red sheep, for instance, there. Um, the red sheep help to provide uh, red carpet when you wanna make red carpet. So anyways, um, I'm gonna give you a tour of my synagogue. I'm up here in this tree so that you can get a nice view, but uh, that's that's Pittsburgh's uh, Congregation Beth Shalom, a conservative synagogue on the corner of Forbes and Shady. Uh, Forbes? Beacon. Beacon and Shady. So let's, let's go check it out. Come on, let's go. So obviously there are not chickens and a farm in front of it, but you know, imagine that you're rolling up to the front of the synagogue, and right now we are in front on what would be in a normal world um, Beacon Street, and uh, yeah, so there's those frosted um, windows in the front. And then there's these stairs, which in real life in Pittsburgh are actually like chained off and you can't get up to them. And then those blue doors, um, they're really iron in the real Beth Shalom. But I thought those cool doors, which I harvested from something in the nether, were cooler. This is the security entrance on the side. Um, there's a security guard here. And then you'd walk in and you'd have to put on a mask and uh, cover your hands in sanitizer and whatever. And then you here you are inside the uh, Milt and Sarita Eisner Commons. Uh, so the real Beth Shalom is like five stories high, no joke. I condense it to two because at least three of the levels I don't really need. So you walk in and there's this little, you know, communal space. Now, in, real, in reality, you make a left turn and there's a little chapel there that's used currently by um, New Light Synagogue. But... Um, you know, on the, the second level, uh, just underneath the main sanctuary, there's a coat room. So I built this little coat room there. There's a gold jacket and whatever. There's a nice place to sit, and there's blue couches, which are real. And then here we are. We're in the ballroom. So the ballroom actually in real life has doors, but whatever. I, you know, I've got to cut things down. It's the Samuel and Minnie Hyman ballroom. Yep. It's got a uh, blue, red, and yellow carpet, which this is just too complicated for me. Sometimes we use the ballroom for uh, morning prayer on Saturday because it's a smaller, more intimate space. But it is a basement, and it is below ground here in the Minecraft world. But usually it's just a place to have kiddish, which, you know, during COVID-19, we're not having any kiddish. There is a stage in the mini, uh, ball, the mini, the salmon mini. Uh, it does have a little red thing. I, I'm sure the congregation in, like, the 1950s used to put on a play. There are not little stairs here. In real life, the stairs are kind of actually off to the side, but you'll see that like, in, in order to make uh, it easy to get into and out of the synagogue, um, this was the most logical place to put the stairs. I put some storage back there um, and a crafting table because it's Minecraft, so you gotta have places to put things. There is a brewing stand in the corner because that's where they put coffee when it's uh, kiddish. Now we're gonna go up to the main. I was gonna go up those stairs, which do lead into the main sanctuary, and there is a staircase like that in Beth Shalom. But, you know, I wanted to take you around in the nice way and show you the, the more grand entrance to the synagogue. That's the front. It's made out of sandstone, a little bit of, um, I think, uh, yeah, some, some uh, polished stone or polished andesite. I don't remember. And here's our main sanctuary. Uh, red carpet, just like in Beth Shalom, and uh, stained glass windows. You'll notice some other nifty things. Uh, there's those stairs up. There's, uh, you know, nice sandstone walls. I put some neat little lamps up there. The real lamps are kind of recessed and way high up, but they're really hard. They would be really hard to build. This is the seat that Ira sits in when he hands out your prayer books. There's uh, two little bookshelves there so that you can have your Eitz Chaim Chumash and your prayer book, uh, your Sim Shalom or your, your uh, Lev Shalem, I don't remember. This is the Faye Rubenstein White Sanctuary, of course. It wouldn't be a synagogue if you didn't make sure to put plaques on all the walls for all the buildings. There are uh, 12 stained glass windows. I made them rainbow colored because to make them out with the tribes of Israel and all the holidays that Beth Shalom has would have taken me basically the better part of my life. This already took me, I think, 
something like seven days, you know, a couple hours a day to make. So the ceiling is lovely. Um, and uh, there's those windows there. In real life in, in Beshalom, there's a balcony here. But clearly, I don't have a lot of congregants coming in in, in Minecraft. So to build a 1,200-seat uh, synagogue didn't make sense. Um, the real synagogue does have a red granite uh, Aron Kodesh uh, uh, a closet for the Torah. And then so I just uh, backed it up by putting a nether portal there. So in the Minecraft world, you can walk into that little purple uh, fuzzy thing and wind up in a alternate universe, which is what prayer is like on some level. Um, in Judaism, that's just where we keep the Torah. This is the bima. Um, there is a bima on the on the. Uh, this is the the higher bima. There are two um, in Beth Shalom. There are actually two uh, granite red um, little podiums for a speaker and a reader. Um, and there's actually chairs back there, but you know what? We don't actually ever use it in real life, so. This is those stairs that go down to the the main uh, to the to the ballroom again. Um, yeah, I put a bed there because you know you never know when you're going to want to take a nap. Although, it, honestly, it's just easier to build that way. This is uh, the little exit that dumps out right onto Shady uh, in in the Pittsburgh world. So it's a just a lovely kind of. And uh, here's the here's the backside of the synagogue. Um, I actually don't know, this, there's a parking lot in real life here. I actually have no idea what this looks like in real life. I only was able to model this because I have a little um, tzedakah box of Beth Shalom and I used it as my model, um, which was kind of handy. Um, apparently there are glass windows in the back, but they don't open up into the main sanctuary. I have no idea where those glass windows open up to uh, in real life. Um, I, I assume that they don't go nowhere. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I'll take you back around to the front. Um, I forgot to mention, if you can look through those blue windows, you can see two little blue flames. Those are kind of a nod to what is known as the eternal light um, in a synagogue. Uh, synagogues often have one lamp that hangs down over the bima. In Minecraft, I could have built that. But you know what? A shining uh, blue flame is just a lot cooler to make. So these are two giant blue flamey torches. This is the roof which um, is uh, made out of uh, cut stone in Minecraft. And uh, this is, you'll notice there's like a castle over there. And yeah, in, in real Best Shalom doesn't have a castle or an aquarium or any of the other cool stuff. This is just, you know, my, my regular Minecraft house that I, that I built myself for fun. So, you know, and the sun never sets on Congregation Best Shalom. Even during COVID-19, we are uh, meeting over Zoom, but we are, uh, we're, we're able to, you know, kind of live the experience virtually through uh, through looking at Beth Shalom on in the Minecraft world. So, yeah, that's my little tour. It took hours of uh, you know harvesting sand and sandstone and cutting it and then fabricating all those different materials. And uh, I had to go to the Nether twice to get uh, the right stuff to build those walls. And of course, uh, you know. It's just a it's just a, a fun little project to keep me busy while I'm you know unable to physically attend services. Now I can kind of walk around and be at Beth Shalom uh, and go there and in in my Minecraft world uh, and not just over Zoom. So you know I hope this has been fun for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about this. If you'd uh, like to learn more about Judaism, there's lots of other things. There aren't too many good videos about. Uh, synagogues on on YouTube and now there's one more so here you go